Now we need to remove a couple of the columns from the invoice listing and I'm going to add a new action item view invoice. Let's try to do that. Open the invoice listing component. And I need to add a new button. Let me add it here. And I don't want to use click handler. This time I would like to use router link. You can also do that. You can also navigate to the specific route by using the router link directive. It will accept the array. It will accept the array. The first path should be invoice.id. What is the name of the element? Yes, invoice.id. And the second element is view. And I'm gonna change it to page view. Let's try to test that. It's not working. Something has broken down. Let me check that. What is wrong? Oops, router link since it is not a known property of the button. I did not add the router module here, so I need to open the invoices module. Here I'm gonna open the so you need to open the invoices module. I am going to add a new module, router module. Now I can use the directives from this router module. Let's try to test that. I also need to change the name of this icon. It's a view. Incredible. It's working now. The route is working now. Let me let me do it again. Oops, I need to. Now we need to remove a couple of the columns. I'm going to remove these properties. QTY. Let me do it here. Text create and QTY. I'm going to remove all of them. And I also need to remove from the TypeScript file, invoice, listing. I'm going to remove these three columns. Cool. Let's try to test that. Cool. Everything is good now. We have successfully removed three columns.